What up guys, my name is Billy and thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time, as always, please hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss anything new. And if you feel like it, subscribe to my Instagram. It's where I post all my content. In this video, I may just well be using the worst paint I have ever used. So the other day I went to a home goods store to look for something completely unrelated. And in the back of the store, uh, they had a wall of like arts and crafts stuff. And there was this big old box full of paint. I think it came with like 45 little paints. And it's acrylic paint, it was like 15 bucks. And I just wanted to give it a try. I don't really have that much paint. So I just wanted to grab some and just see if I could uh, make anything with it. Um, I'm not a super experienced painter by any means, but I am trying to work and I'm trying to get better. And I also grabbed some brushes for like $2. So yeah, these were like two bucks. They're all hard, I guess I gotta put them in water. There's like little brush hairs like already like falling out. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, okay. Here they are, Wonder and Weiss. I hope that's pronounced that way. Wonder and Weiss. I won't focus, will it? So like I said, it came with a crap ton. Um, don't know the quality on these at all. I just saw them, they were cheap as hell. High viscosity studio acrylic color. And it came with all the colors. So, but I did get some pretty nice. So I'm about to use some crap quality paint and brushes on some decent quality uh, canvas. Let me know in the comments, is there a specific brand of paint or brushes that you use? And I never realized how expensive paint was, man, good lord. But please, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Comment down below, let me know what your favorite tools are for this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Time lapse.
All right, so. So that paint is really inconsistent and some of them were watery, some of them were thicker than others. I did not have a good time, man. I did make some extra adjustments, go over the outline a little more with some Posca pens. Uh, just because I feel like that's the only thing that actually salvaged this painting is like the outline a little bit. But the colors are kind of trash, I'm not even gonna lie. Part of it's probably my fault, but the fact that I got 45 individual 20 milliliter little paints plays a part too, I guarantee it. But I have used high quality paint and I can tell you there's a difference. And there's a huge, and it makes a huge difference in the type of paint that you actually use. But again, this is the Wonder and Weiss, the Create Collection High Viscosity Studio. Definitely don't recommend these. And uh, But anyway, that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are, I appreciate the support. If you want to know more about the supplies and the tools I use to illustrate, I'll leave the links down in the description below. But thanks so much for watching. See ya.